first of all, hey, Janique, I'm going to say your name right, Janique, Janixa, right? Yes, yay! Yay! What a great name, first of all. Thank you. I had nothing to do with it. Uh, it was my parents. Good name. I'm Polish, actually. I'm not Polish. Really? It was Polish, yes. I love it. I love it. And I love this movie so much, by the way. Thank you. I So here's the thing. A lot of times a filmmaker will try and create characters that are a little dirty, a little gritty, and it almost becomes uh, like forced and you feel like it's it, 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 you're watching a Saturday Night Live skit. You found the essence of these girls and these guys, everyone. How do you find that without going over the top and making it almost satire, but making it, you know, making it real, making it feel legit? Well, I thank you for saying it feels real to you. I I come from the theater. So it, it's wild to hear you say it feels real because in my mind, the whole approach is a little theatrical. Mm -hmm. But I think that what's landing real is the a actor's approach, right? And I think yeah. they approached each of those individuals with a good deal of integrity. And we left our judgment at the door because the, there was no room for us judging those characters. And I tried my best to create an environment that was also judgment free, like as in the world of the film was judgment free. Uh, so I think that that's what you're picking up on is that they just approach, they didn't play into any of the humor. The humor is just there and yeah. they didn't play into any of the discomfort. Like it's already woven into the work and there is this tightrope of sorts that we're walking for all of those things to land at the same time. Well, and yeah, they, you know, you see people like this. You see people on the streets. I live in Hollywood. You see this all the time. So <laughs> they're all the time. <laughs> right? I I also feel that it's it's a it's a very tricky to deal with social media in film. This is a really good approach, probably one of the better approaches I've ever seen, how you approach the tweet storms, how you approach the likes. How did you translate that? Obviously, this came from a tweet storm, basically. How did you, as a filmmaker, kind of delve into that? You know, I thought that one of the things that was the hardest, and I don't know that I landed all the way, but is how do you replicate the feeling of Twitter, right? How do you replicate the internet? The internet is um, uh, electric or Twitter is electric. It also moves at a pace that is, you know, maybe I'm old, but things feel like they move very fast. And I'm yeah. like, why oh, I need less information, please. And so I think like the, so when you're translating a single thread that becomes like a four minute scene or a single thread that becomes just a line within a longer scene, I, I do, there, there was, how do we get it to feel the same? And I think the first thing I said is it's never going to feel the same. It's not going to be the experience of sitting on your toilet and going like this. It's, <laughs> it's not a scroll on your toilet. It's not a scroll on your living room. It's just not going to feel like that, that once once it becomes a film, it has another life to yeah. it. And so all I can do is try to homage and replicate some of that energy. So it's like try to get some of that electricity, put it in our world and and have these characters feel a little bit also caricatured, right? Like there's some there's some uh, gestures that are really speaking to what our relationships are to our phones, which we spend so much time on. Yeah, and unfortunately we got to wrap up. But I, well, this is so lovely. Thank you for your thank you for your time. Oh, thank you, and thank you for making this movie. I love it. I absolutely okay. love it. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Bye, guys.